I'm watching... Or so I'm not watching anything. It's Saturday... Saturday night. It's January 22nd, 2022. Linda's watching it. Um, there was this TV show that came on. She watched like an episode or two of it. Um, but then... I was like, I don't know what the humans are up to. I really I don't. With how they make money, then plea deals, plea agreements, then... I mean, like, they're dancing around. Like, there's some unknown quirk equation of moving geometry, space, geospatially, and then they throw some form of investment the particular show using equity and capital. I'm like, oh my god, it's like endless with you humans. I'm like, and then I'm thinking to myself, all right, so now, Nicole, like, here we are coaching myself. I'm like, what to tell the kiddos? If I can even figure out something to be, tell them to be careful about. I'm like, I, meaning my own children, in some form of preparation, it's like, if a monster, an evil monster, evil, uh, evil intent wants to hurt you no matter what you say, always evil, and an alien got in a fight between some filthy, rich, evil business partner and his old world money good guy who always just seems to think the filthy rich or whatever and that squabble or argument at things that are so far outside my scope of reality are going on but they by I mean, if they purposely target one of the innocent humans or one of the innocent amongst the humans, one guardian angel or messenger amongst the humans, it does become this even worse fight between a human, a monster, and an alien. Because the fight actually started amongst monsters and aliens. Some alien funded something with old world money. Some evil was created among, amongst the monsters that fight over capital and equity, thinking they deserve more than they ever should, and not want to take responsibility for all the bad parts, just want to suck all the good out of life. And then there's the humans, and those trapped amongst the humans and the fallen. So, Lynn's watching this thing called The Good Fight. Apparently, the network got cut off, like, two episodes, like a teaser. And then it... But then you have to pay for the channel now. But she really paid for the channel because she wanted to watch something else. But she watched all of that. So now there's other stuff on this new paid-for network that happened to be one of the titles. Now, when it went on... What struck me as interesting is in the corner, it didn't say, like, TVMA, TVR, TVPG, PG-13, or G. It was rated, uh, it said it was coarse something. C-O-A-R-S-E. I was like, coarse. Well, that's interesting. Is that for the golf league? Because I'm thinking par for the course. But I don't know golf. I'm not in that echelon. They don't invite me to the country clubs. Like, I used to be that when I was little, when life was still exciting because I knew I was going to marry my other and he was going to come for me but it has gone drastically wrong and 
I wouldn't even, I don't know any of the golf courses on Long Island, other than the ones from when I was little, just the two, or the one, Huntington. Um, I think Lloyd Harbor had one. But this show, then there was something about, um, like in some rumor mill or gin mill or whatever, the lady's got something to do. Her father got convicted of a Ponzi scheme. Then on the internet, she had a boyfriend. They, they broke up and it was something about, uh... Then they wanted to come after her that she stole $350 worth of jewelry. It's like, what? And then it wasn't even her. It was somebody started posting stuff about her. But she didn't do anything. So that gets confusing. And then there's like all of these like things. I mean, like law firms. I mean, here's the thing. In real world, like planetary and high physics in important people, not the evil, filthy rich that fight with old world money and whatever, um, and hurt the innocent humans and fallen. Um, there is like physics law. You break a law of physics, and then it's punishable. But that would, right, that opens a big thing, depending on the level of concern we have. Currently, we have a big concern, or I have a big concern, based on some of the treatment while I've been in New York with sedatives that have been illegally administered. Um, or by permit of something that I don't know, but it's on file with someone because they thought they had permission. And then my carcass dragged to wherever for I don't know what purpose. Um, when you are no longer able to witness your own crimes, but it's on somebody's file because someone had permission and... There's investigators and such, so on and so forth, but you don't have access to that level of file. How does one protect oneself is the question, and how does one get out of this situation when it's just monsters and aliens fighting, and you're like, no, I'm definitely not supposed to be in your fight, but now you dragged me into some... Discovery, whatever, in a hole between here and there that you can't explain to humans because they don't live in filthy rich arguing with aliens and some form of monstrous, even whatever bigger fight breaks out. I mean, it's like run for cover kind of a thing. Um,. But I don't know, so they put something on. It's kind of like a kind of, sort of, but not really acknowledgement of I don't know what. Because they live in this lesser law world, like lower warden world in the U.S. Where they all know their laws. They all have articles. They've gone to law school. They speak this language. And then they want to hold innocent people to their upper echelon education that they got, which becomes very difficult. It's like, I didn't kill anybody. I didn't put my hands on anybody. I'm not hurting anybody directly. So now you humans are really confusing with this new device feature you put out because there's other bigger problems going on in the area like drugging innocent women and uh, them not knowing that they were drugged 
and not knowing what happened, but their health seems to be deteriorating, and the medical staff is not as helpful as they could be if one had its full story. And then walking into rooms of people who seem to know, but they never know how much you know, and then that gets weird. Because you're like, why does it always feel like there's a surprise party? But it never, like, I mean, people are, like, going around like they know the secret, and, and you're like, it feels like they're planning something, but I don't know what they're planning. But this is just, like, a horrible life. Like, this is a horrible lifestyle. I don't know who came up with this or who allowed this, but it's like, I, why would they allow this? A planet disappears in a solar system. Someone knows. There's a geological, geospatial, and anatomical mathematical equation that goes on every time the machine reboots. And it tallies and metrics. There are certain derivatives that have gotten out of accounting or gotten out of sorts. And it's noticeable. Um, the guidelines, for some reason, the physics broke, which should have been like the main, like, sonic signal of like we gotta handle that right away and it's the most important and then everything else can be handled in a derivative format in whatever way that that's handled but it doesn't feel like that's what's being done um Lou put on Lord of the Rings earlier and he was, Gandalf was speaking to Frodo, the hobbit, and um, it was interesting because the first hobbit, whatever his name is, um, his like, he touched the ring and then his personality changed, which is interesting because humans, I've seen their personalities change like that on a dime, and it's like radio dial, very strange. Um, but that was a mention on that. And then it went to Frodo, who was more of like the innocent, whatever. But Gandalf, um, there's no Gandalf here. Like that has like an order, like has to check with the higher order of magistrate straight. But I will say, I said to Lynn, because he mentioned something about the Dark Lord, and I'm like, Lou's got a Dark Lord, but, like, not in a fanciful, like, it's a literal thing. He's got a man that calls himself Lord, who just so happens to be of a different familial look than we are, and they're good friends. Or so Lou says. And so he says. Um, and I'm like, but there's a universal mention of it on larger story format, which gets carried forward in that mathematical equation. So that gets really interesting in, you know, sometimes, like, it just seems in the nuclear, in the nucleus of the nuclear family, and then I heard somebody else on one of Linda's shows, and again, don't know which one, but on The Good Fight, season one, episode four, that first five minutes where the girl walks in or out of the elevator and, like, people come up and do that surprise party thing where they're, like, already in the middle of some other conversation and they just think she knows and she's like, why do I feel like I'm missing something? every day of my life when I have to go out and speak to other area, like other humans. Um, it's just very confusing. Um, and I used to feel that way with, with Tia Friend in 1975 when he would leave the house and then come back 
Like, he'd look at me like I was, like, something was up, and I'd be like, what? Like, what What else? What? What's up? And it just, it's this fishy, weird, again, shouldn't be, but it is for some reason. Um... But in Lord of the Rings, they mentioned something of a Shire, S-H-I-R-E. Um, when I was physically in physicality with Niklaus Hitler uh, at Hofstra, I met, I had won some award or certificate or whatever. It was given to me by a man by the name of Ian, I-A-N, um, on Hofstra's grounds um, in around the 1998 right around the problem with Jason, 1976, problem arriving. Um, I was with Niklaus, and I was supposed to go with him. We went to the house for the passport. I couldn't find the passport. And then he all of a sudden had to say goodbye, and I had to go. And that was strange. And then he was going to come back, but then he never did. So... Um, but again, the details have been withheld from my connection to it because I had some random caller in like 2015, 16 who called me. I was on hold. He was doing something with the internet. Um, I was having trouble with the router. And we got on a conversation, but I couldn't remember. Like he's like, well, sometimes people, I said, yeah, like, how do you pick a password kind of a thing? He's like, well, some people use, like, ex-boyfriends. Do you have any of those? And I'm like, you yeah, know, not that I can really recall. Nothing that really jumps out or stands out or comes to mind. Because in that moment, that's just, again, this is time dysplasia and time dysphoria and disorienting um, with whatever the evil criminal children from everywhere are participating in. That's unbeknownst to me, but I seem to be affected by it. Um, but Ian, when I sat with him, I I had to leave Niklaus at the dorm room and go by myself to this soiree or dinner or whatever, or just the ceremony of some sorts, which gets confusing because I remember him sitting at a chair next to me at a table and uh, that's really all I remember is our conversation which was he said he lived in a shire and where he was from Long Island had some similar names that were from wherever he is from which I had not heard of the word shire um, I didn't know what it meant. I, I mean, when I look at the setting of Lord of the Rings, I mean, whatever artist did the built in with the curves, I mean, like that is just so artistically beautiful. Um, and in the sets and then you open it and it's got the roundness of the door. It's unique. It's unusual. But it's, I, I mean, they did such a great job on the set of The Hobbit, in order to show the height difference as well. I really, I was, it just, it's one of those things that speaks and calls to you. Um, but purposely. Um, but I actually did, in my life, early on, I did meet, and that ties um, Hitler, Ian, and I to somewhere in Long Island together at the same time, um, right before 1976 came around. Um, meaning whatever, and whatever, 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 on the privy side. <sighs> it's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cateruza. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken. It's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. I really wish, in 1998, he had figured out whatever he had to do to get me the hell out of New York. Leaving me here was just the worst. I mean, age six, 
worst possible option or worst possible outcome has been leading into this. I mean, it's just... How do you get to your forever family? How? 